Welcome guys, back to another video, back with another upload, and today, a bit of an out of the box idea. Um, if some of you have seen my streams before I went off to do my mock exams, you would have known that I enjoy racing, as you saw me uh, do Forza Motorsport 7, and continuously uh, beat JJ's arse at it. <laughs> Sorry JJ. But, um, yeah, I'm going to predict the F1 2021 season. Some of you might not be interested in this, and if you're not, I understand. But this is just my personal uh, hobby to come out here. So, uh, before we get started, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe for future content. Uh, January 30th, keep that in your calendar because this shit gotta go down. <laughs> <laughs> um, but without further ado, before I get to ranking the drivers and constructors, I want to make a couple of predictions of my own. Uh, the first one is Daniel Ricciardo to win a race at McLaren this season. It's kind of obvious. Uh, Ricciardo, top class driver, probably has one of the best race pace in on the grid right now. Probably behind Hamilton, but. Ricardo's fast and I feel like he would just work well with that McLaren car and he'll just get a win. Next up, I have got Sebastian Vettel to get a podium with Aston Martin. Um, people said this on the internet before but I'm going to say it. Vettel's not a four-time world champion for nothing. Um, yeah, uh, I think he the pay... The ability may go away, but the class driving that Vettel produces does not. And a third prediction is that I think Sonoda will cripple under the pressure and not perform as well as people expect. Uh, he's still a rookie in the sport. Um, he's going to be in first season. He's, I think he's going to be like a, maybe Mazepin. He's not going to perform as well as he should. And then he's probably going to do a Schumacher and come. He's probably going to be like Schumacher and not perform well. And then he's going to shoot up and probably be, probably be on par with Gasly. Maybe even beat him a couple of times. Um, the last one I have. This was the ballsiest one I've got. And I'm going to go with Carlos Sainz to win a race with Ferrari. Uh, Sainz has the ability to win it. So I'm doing it in Italy. Yeah, I know the McLaren car's better. But uh, Ferrari have drastically improved their engine uh, over the winter break. From what we've heard. Um, but yeah, there were four predictions. Now I'm going to give you my driver of the season, and it was close between two drivers, but I'm going to give it to Daniel Ricciardo. The other driver I'm thinking of was Pierre Gasly, but I think Ricciardo and the current team, as I said before, are going to work so well together, uh, especially with uh, Norris's side, two jokesters uh, on the grid, uh, media-wise. They'll be the best team on grid, just for the media sake. But also, ability-wise, I think they're the second best on the grid. Um, bit cocky, yeah. Uh, kind of my favourite team, so. Um, upset of the season. I know he did well at the end of uh, last season, but I'm going to go with Ocon. Uh, just compared to Alonso, he's going to do poor. Alonso, I still think he has that racing ability that he had uh, just before he left. Maybe a tad bit more because he's uh, expanded his adventures to different uh, motorsports. But um, I feel like Ocon's going to poor, perform poorly for most of the season again. Race of the season. So basically which race do I think will perform the best. Uh, I'm going with a bit of a safe one here. But I'm going to go with Interlagos or the Brazilian Grand Prix. Uh, we've seen that it can perform very well. The track uh, unexpectedly with the rain as well. Uh, I'm hoping there's rain this season, um, and that'll make for a very exciting race. And surprise of the season, I'm going to go with Sergio Perez. Uh, pe people are expecting Perez to maybe match up to Verstappen's uh, racing talent. I think Perez is more talented than Verstappen, but Verstappen's just got more raw pace and. Um, I feel like Perez will be able to push that second car with Verstappen to fight the Mercedes. Um, yeah. 
So I was surprised at the season, Sergio Perez. Um, I feel like Perez has deserved this for a long time. The last top team he went for was McLaren, and that was when they had their downward trajectory. Um, but yeah, Perez deserves his spot. And I think he's going to probably win two races this season. Uh, I'm going to guess... Uh, Perez, is, Perez is probably going to win France and Mexico. I'm going to say. But anyways. Um, before we get on to that, uh, time for a quick recharge. Okay. Um, I was a bit topsy-turvy about which one I want to start with here. But I'm going to start with the Constructors. Because it's a bit less predictable. Sorry, a bit more predictable. So, in 10th place who have i got i've gone with Haas. um car downward trajectory the best season was probably 2017 maybe 2018 but i can't see that car getting any better anytime soon especially with two rookies like the key mazepin and mick schumacher schumacher takes a while to settle in and mazepin will probably crash out four times because of how bad his driving is like just how reckless he is and um, I just don't think Mazepin has the pace being F1 yet. They should have uh, should have gone with someone different or kept uh, Grosjean because I feel like the rookie veteran uh, partner does well. So maybe Mick could have learned off Grosjean and just gone with it. Ninth place, I have gone with Williams. Now, I feel like they are going to improve. But I don't feel they're going to improve massively. Russell, I'm expecting him to get a couple of points uh, finishes, especially after his uh, amazing performance at the Sakia Grand Prix. Uh, eighth place, uh, obviously, Alfa Romeo. Uh, just going to be as normal as the thing. I feel like Raikkonen's going to fall off, and Giovinazzi is going to be one to take the, most of the points for Alfa Romeo. That's about it. Seventh place, uh, very close here. Or who I want it to be 7th. Because I feel like 7th to 3rd is very close. But I have gone with Alpha Tauri. Uh, Gasly's going to be a key part of the points playing positions here this season. Uh, Sonoda, I'm expecting him to make some points positions regularly. Uh, but I don't expect him to get higher than 6th. Um, Gasly, I'm expecting him to get on the podium at least twice this season. But um, yeah, I feel like Gasly's going to be the main points player in this season. Sonoda's going to be a bit like uh, Raikkonen and just try to catch up with a teammate. Sixth place, I have gone with Alpine Racing. Um, Alonso and Ocon, two very fiery characters. Ocon's a very young driver. I don't feel like he's going to perform well. Alonso, I think he's going to bring the spark that the team needs to push it against uh, teams like Ferrari. Obviously, they beat Ferrari last season, uh, Renault. Balpi's first season. I don't think they're going to do as well as they hope they would. Um, I don't think they're going to do better than Ferrari this season. I'm expecting um, hopefully a podium from Alonso if there's a chaotic race like uh, somewhere like Baku or something. But I'm not expecting them to get a podium just off of their skill and just their driving speed from the uh, drivers. I don't feel like they have the... Uh, the full package to get podiums uh, with their car uh, compared to the others on this list. Uh, that was number six, Alpine. Number five, I have gone with Ferrari. Um, I feel like they've got to improve. They've got two top class drivers. They've got Carlos Sainz and Charles Leclerc. Um, just. I can't really see it getting any worse. Uh, obviously, they've used all their tokens that they have for 2021 on the car, uh, on the engine. So, that'll be a lot better. The chassis last season was okay. It just weren't the greatest. But at least they'll have the straight line speed that they should have. Uh, do I think they're going to be better than Aston Martin and McLaren? Hell no. But I think they will be better than Alpine just. I feel like the Ferrari and Alpine fight will be very close. And as you'll see in my uh, driver's list later... Vettel and Alonso are going to have a good time. So, best of the rest, who have I got? In fourth place, I have put Aston Martin. 
Now, I have done this because I think Ricardo and Norris are just too good of a pairing and too good of a chemistry with each other to um, score a lot of points. I feel like McLaren are going to be regular podium sitters now. Um, definitely with the likes of um, Red Bull and Mercedes, I feel like McLaren are just like that in-between team. But, uh, less about McLaren, more about Aston Martin. Uh, Aston Martin fourth. Um, Vettel, Stroll, uh, I'm expecting some strong performances, but nothing too much. Wait, hold on. I've just realised what I've put on my rankings, and I feel I have to switch this around. Um, hmm. Yeah, uh, anyways. Fifth, I've, I'm going to put uh, Aston Martin. No, wait. Give me a second, guys. I've kind of messed this up here. Anyways, uh, sorry for that short prompt to break, but um, I'm sorting it out now. Um, I've gone with, uh, it's taken me a bit of time, I'm sorry about that. But uh, I I have gone with Aston Martin to finish ahead of um, Ferrari, just so. Uh, Ferrari, Aston Martin, McLaren's going to be a very close fight for me personally. Um, You'll see what I mean in a bit. But, um, Aston Martin, I don't feel like they have the needs yet to pass McLaren. McLaren are just too good. Um, Andre Seidel, um, just a serial winner. He can win anything, any more sport. He won Le Mans like three years in a row. Um, obviously the, uh, duo of Carlos, not Carlos Sainz, uh, Lando Norris and Daniel Ricciardo is too good to, uh, to be beaten right now. Um, obviously Lando. Is going to be his third season. And he's already performing. At the levels. Of people like. Sites. Vettel. Leclerc. Which shows how good he is. And I feel like Norris is going to turn it up. To level 4 this season. I don't even think he's going to pass level 5. <sighs> yeah. Uh, Aston Martin. For Ferrari 5th. Uh. Just confirm. Uh, third place, McLaren. Ricardo's going to do some bits this season. I feel like Ricardo, Perez, and Bottas are going to be in a really good fight this season. Maybe Leclerc there as well. Or Vettel. But, uh, yeah, I don't know quite yet. Um, who out of. Uh, Ricardo and Norris will get the first win. I hope it's Norris, but I think it's going to be Ricardo just because of how good he is. Alright, um, second place. I. My gut feeling is saying Red Bull, so I'm going to go Red Bull. Um, strong pairing of Perez and Verstappen, but. It's just the Mercedes is too powerful. You can't beat it. It's probably the best car ever made in F1 and no matter how good the drivers are Red Bull need to improve their car they need to make the car more equal for the second driver as well not just like it was uh, last season um, just the stuff with Verstappen right now reminds me of the stuff with uh, Button and Hamilton in 2012 when the car was just so suited to Jensen um, but yeah Red Bull second Mercedes first and they will grab their 8th consecutive Constructors title in a row. Let's move on to the drivers. Now, moving on to the drivers. I'm going to skim over 20th to the 11th. And then explain a bit more in detail 10th to 1st. So, 20th place, I've got Nikita Mazepin. Uh, just not good enough. Uh, Schumacher, I've got 19th. Uh, I don't think he'll settle in as well this season. Next season, maybe. 18th, Latifi. He'll improve a little bit. Probably score like two points or maybe. That's about it. Uh, 17th, Raikkonen. He's going to retire, I think. 16th, Yuki Snowder. Uh, he's not going to perform that well. I don't think he's going to be up to the levels of Gasly yet. But I can see him becoming a top-class driver this uh, next season. 15th, Antonio Giovinazzi. Uh, I feel like Giovinazzi is going to come into his element this season with... Alfa Romeo and 
get some decent points. And I think he's going to be in close battle with 14th place, George Russell. Uh, Russell will probably score a lot of points this season. Like, he'll probably get 10th for 9th, like, most of the time. And just be a consistent point scorer, but very low point scorer. Uh, that's about it. Uh, 13th, Ocon. He's going to have a poor season. I don't really see him improving over last season. 12th, Gasly. I think he'll have a tad bit of bad luck, but every... But the races don't have bad luck and he's going to absolutely bag it. 11th, Stroll. That Aston Martin car will be good. And I feel like Stroll will perform to a good extent. He won't, he'll be a bit like a knock-on. He won't perform as well as his teammate. But he'll still smash out the park, I think, for a little bit. 10th, I've gone with Alonso. Uh, Alonso will probably uh, snag a couple of good uh, positions this season. Uh... I see Alonso probably, well, most likely beating his teammate, uh, as you see now. Um, and yeah, Alonso is probably one of my favourite drivers of all time, aside from Hamilton and Schumacher. Um, but I don't see him performing as well as his 2006 counterpart, obviously. But I don't see him performing to the levels that he thinks he's going to perform to. Um, it's just how it is, isn't it? Uh, it's always something that he has to look out for, Alonso. He's uh, too high expectations for himself. And that's always been his problem. He has too high expectations, which is why he's so toxic in a team. But hey ho. Ninth place, Carlos Sainz. I feel like him, Norris and Vettel, him, well from 10th to 7th, it could be in any order in my opinion. Heck, even 6th. I feel like from 10th to 5th, maybe. Actually, no, 10th to 6th. It could be any order, but this is how I've got it. But Sites, I feel like he'll have very good uh, point scoring positions. I feel like the Fry will be probably the equivalent of Force India in 2017. Just consistently scoring points. Just enough to get up the rankings. Um, set 8th place, I've gone with Lando Norris. Um, he's gonna go up to another gear and um, just try and battle with Alonso, Sainz, Vettel and Leclerc and I feel like he's going to end up in a decent position because of how good he is and his potential. Um, seventh place, I've gone with Sebastian Vettel. Um, I see Vettel really improving over last season. Last season was a nightmare for him and uh, yeah, uh, hold on a second, guys. Sorry about that, guys. A uh, bit of a uh, job I had to do. Uh, family stuff, you'll understand. Um, what was that? Uh, Vettel, yeah. Um, I can see Vettel get a couple of podiums, maybe two or three, if he's lucky. Um, that car that he's going to be in definitely has the power to do so. And with a four time world champion like Vettel, I can see it happening and can be a really good uh, fight with Leclerc, Doris, Sainz and Alonso. Speaking of Leclerc, that's who I have in 6th place. Uh, Leclerc way outperformed that car last season, let's not deny it. Do I think he's going to outperform again? Uh, yes, but not to the extent that Ricardo will. Obviously, the McLaren car is really good, but I feel like Ricardo will push it to the next level because of how talented it is. Leclerc will push his car to the next level, but his car's two levels behind McLaren, so. Uh, fifth place, Daniel Ricardo, Best of the rest. Top class driver. He'll get four podiums, one win. Um, and if I'm being honest... I don't see Ricardo getting lower than 6th because he's one of the best drivers on the field, he is top class driver and I a long time supporter of him and I really can't wait to see what he does with this beast of a McLaren. Coming in 4th place, um, it's a driver who I think will be replaced next season. And that is Valtteri Bottas. Um, 
he performed poorly towards the end of last season. I feel like that form is going to carry over into this season. And unfortunately, he's going to lose his spot to George Russell by end of the season. Um, I'm guessing. Um, and he's going to be beaten, just marginally, by Sergio Perez. Perez will perform, and he will keep that Red Bull seat. Um, it's inevitable that he'll keep the seat, because he is a top-class driver. The experience will let him adapt to that car easier, and I've seen him just having a top-class drive in that, getting some wins, getting some points, fight with Verstappen and Bottas. Um, second place, <sighs> Simon Verstappen or Hamilton. Last season, I didn't upload a predicted video of last season, but last season in my head, I put Hamilton first, and Verstappen second, and I was right. And I'm going to do the same thing this season because I'm confident Hamilton will go up another gear again. Like, there's no limited, there's a limited gears to this lad. He's probably on gear 2.5 billion. There's probably like 268 billion gears in him. Uh, do I think Hamilton will stay in this uh, F1 for long? No. Uh, I, see him, I see him retiring by the uh, next reg regulation changes. Uh, but... Verstappen, second, very strong second. It'll be a close fight, fight between him and Hamilton. It'll be the Vettel and Alonso fight in 2012, but with Hamilton and Verstappen. So Verstappen, second. Lewis Hamilton to take his eighth world title. With that being said, this video has drawn to a close. Thank you all for watching. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And also go check out my channel, second channel, Shadow Players. Uh, I'll be uploading videos, gaming videos on there now. All my boxing videos and shit will be moved over there. And I'll keep this channel basically strictly to Star Wars, Marvel and film content. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you have a good day. I'm going to probably go and work on some stuff for you guys. And see you all later. Take care and peace.